Hey guys, and welcome to the 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Oh, yes, with the biggest engine Harley Davidson produced to this day the 117 Milwaukee 8 motor, nearly a two liter engine. Today, we're gonna go for a cruise, see what she's all about. <laughs> What an exciting day. Coming in at 18,495 English pounds, if you're British pounds, dollars gives the conversion rate different. Yeah, Harleys, not cheap bikes. First off the bat, that's what stood out to me. It's the price, bog standard. It is at 18, over 18, nearly 18.5 grand. It's a lot of money. However, you get a lot of bike with Harleys. You're getting thick steel. It is that classic Harley bulk. And quite honestly, premium feeling um, components as well. When you get on it, everything's big. It's a really, really nice, nice, premium feeling bike. So let's get the elephant out of the room. Let's go over the centerpiece of this motorbike for sure. It's that 117 motor, the biggest engine, capacity engine that Harley Davidson make straight out of the box. They've put it in this, this low rider S, which is really a sort of mid-weight cruiser slash sports bike they're going for. But I mean, this 117 engine, they put in their big CVO, 22,000 pound big cruisers. And they've taken that exact same engine and put it in this low rider S. And this is considerably lighter. It weighs in at just over 300 kilograms, which is not a light motorbike by any stretch of the imagination, but it's considerably lighter than what this engine was designed for. At 1,923 cc, this motor's nearly a two liter engine in a motorbike. So you are not short changed for power. Brake horsepower's down as it is in Harleys. Although it is a nice range to me, it's 105 brake horsepower, which is by no means a small amount of horsepower. Now the main figure is the torque. It's 168 Newton meters of torque. It's a lot of torque. We're gonna take her out for a ride now and go over sort of how it feels on this bike and how it is with the weight of the bike. I can give you a little, little quick secret. It is really nice, it's really fun. Quickly go over some of the uh, suspension and brake uh, specifications. So brakes, up front, surprisingly, Harley Davidson, we got dual discs, what's going on here? Must be sporty. And you've got obviously a caliper on each, four piston calipers on the um, the discs up front. And yeah, the brakes are actually very nice. They're not, they're not super, super sharp. Um, they're not Brembo Stylemas or anything like that, but actually they're, I'm surprised for a Harley Davidson, they're, they're really nice brakes. They do instill confidence for sure. We'll go over that in a bit when we get on it. But uh, yeah, on the rear, you've got a single disc, two piston caliper on the rear. And the, and the rear brakes are, are, are very nice as well okay so the front suspension you've got single cartridge um 43 millimeter inverted forks so yeah nod towards some um sportiness there and it definitely shows on the road it's, it's a nice handling bike this coming on to the rear you have a coil over monoshock with 56 millimeters of uh travel of stroke for this 2022 model they've actually raised the rear suspension by one inch and i can say actually you can actually see it visually not the suspension unit it's Itself, but in the profile of the motorbike you can see that it's slightly raised up at the rear not in a bad way at all it's just it's noticeable and, and on the road it actually makes for more of a comfortable slightly more sportier ride which is nice so just quickly before we head off I've just got to point out I absolutely love the air box there the air filter that's protruding out from the bike with the 117 written on it i think it gives it so much attitude um, and it's not symmetrical obviously there's not two so there's not one on the uh the left side of the bike which i think it looks really cool gives it a nice distinctive custom sort of feel to it immediately hopping on you've got a nice low seat height it's 7 10 millimeters very low like i'm five foot nine i can really really easily reach the floor real big bend in my knees very comfortable one thing i would say is your knees are very high up compared to like a cr classic cruiser i've just come off my triumph speedmaster i noticed my legs were like up here you know but you do quickly get used to it but onto the masterpiece this 117 engine it's really nice it's obviously 
actually got loads of torque and loads of poke. Now being the biggest engine that Harley makes straight out of the box as standard, just a word of caution, I think I would say don't expect absolute insanity, insane speeds from the engine. It's not a crazy sports bike. Harley like to say this is a sports bike. It's not a sports bike guys, it weighs 303 kilograms. You can't call that a sports bike. But it's actually a fantastic amount of power for the road and the way it's sealed and set up. It's not too much. I was thinking it might be a little bit too much power, but it's not. It's got some great feel to it. And the V-twin, just absolutely glorious when it's on song. When it comes to about, you quite want to rev it when you, well, I say rev it, but you get to three to 4,000 RPM. It just starts vibing really nicely. It's a really characterful, very, very cool engine. It's slightly winning me over. I absolutely love the motor. And it's got bags of go. It's not like it's a fast bike. You'll be, it's got six gears. So you, you put it straight up into six and you could, if you wanted to easily go over a hundred miles an hour, I would have thought. It's got bags to have fun with as well. It's very responsive because of all of that, all of that talk. Oh, and it's got that Harley character. So there's one thing with cruisers. Let me, let me know if you, uh, you know what I mean. With a big cruiser, I'm always chasing that sweet spot in the torque range where the engine just seems to be singing along perfectly. It's just in its right RPM range where it's throbbing away nicely. And this motor is very easy to find that range. You're almost in its sweet spot the whole time, which is uh, absolutely lovely. So the motor at low speed, you can tell she's a big twin, obviously. And it's not clattery at slow speeds. It, it throbs along very nicely, but it's not smooth, just very relaxing and smooth at these uh, sort of 20 mile an hour speeds. It slightly wants to be stretched out a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It, it's more of a character. It, that, that's where the character comes in at these slow speeds. So we haven't got any, um, as usual with Harley, any riding modes, anything like that. It's very basic. You got one button here on the left you can flick through your um, digital dash here you get the time your current rpm your miles uh, your range for the fuel which is actually quite handy and that is it so it's fairly simple so onto the riding position um it's not your classic cruiser style riding position you're not laid back with your legs out front it's not forward control foot pegs it's more mid control um foot pegs and the handlebars are actually, they're quite far forward. I found myself surprisingly reaching further forward and it's an aggressive riding position. It really is a, a macho sort of come get it, aggressive, aggressive riding position, ready to be ridden fast. The handlebars are actually relatively flat as well. So you've got that sort of flat track almost style handlebar and they raise up nicely. So you're sort of parallel with my shoulders really. It's a cool riding position. I wouldn't want to do too long in this riding position. As I say, it's not, a, it's not designed for a long, Paul Cruiser. This is an aggressive, fast Harley Davidson designed for sporty riding. What's the handling and the suspension like on uh, the Lowrider S? It's actually, it's very good with that inch being raised at the rear suspension it's nicely damped back there and you can adjust the preload it's hydraulic preload adjustment so if it doesn't quite suit your build or your dimensions you can adjust it to uh to fit to fit you but the way this whole bike the the dynamics of it it handles very well i'm surprised that the suspension is pliable it soak up soaks up the bumps nicely it's not too stiffly damped and the handling feel even with that big wheel thrown out the front. It's not extremely agile motorcycle, but it, that you can feel the sportiness in it, absolutely. Don't think it's not sporty and you can't get on it. You can really set it in a corner, give it some beans with that big two liter engine, nearly two liter, and you can get on it. It's got plenty of go. It, it's a really, really pleasurable bike. 
So I don't want you to get the wrong idea. This is a fast motorcycle, actually. It's just absolutely really, really nice. It, the whole bike feels, if you're not a Harley guy, I do recommend riding one of these. The whole bike feels quite taut and well put together you know the the clutch isn't as heavy as on some harleys where to be honest i find them too heavy on some harleys it's nicely balanced on this the gears aren't too heavy they're nice and positive but they've got a quite relaxing throw to them another thing that is um i'm surprised as well on the bike are the brakes obviously they've Harley have gone for the dual discs up front which I'm very pleased about because <laughs> you need them with this amount of power and speed and weight but they bite they're they're really good confidence inspiring inspiring brakes as well you can really get on it and feel safe knowing you've got those brakes there they do bring you to a nice stop sort of when you're getting on it spirited riding and the country lanes I'd like to say a huge thank you actually to uh, Harley Davison here in Oxford, Abingdon, Oxford, part of the Blade Motorcycles group for lending me this bike today. Do check them out. They've got some lovely stock in there. I've actually, one's taken my eye, so I'm gonna go in and have a little look at it. Some lovely Harley. So thank you very much to them. Please do check them out. Great dealership. Here we are. So guys, there we go. The 2022 Lowrider S. Really, really nice bike. I'm impressed with that. Had a great time. Fantastic engine. That's what stands out the most to me. Just absolutely beautiful. Torque everywhere. Plenty of power and very characterful as well. Just another thing they've actually changed on this, which I think is worth pointing out on the 2022 model. It's on the 21 model. You've got all the dials on here. Very nice. Looks nice, but slightly impractical because you have to, a lot of customers were complaining, you have to look down to look at the dials, whereas for 2022, they've moved the dial right up here, so it's just below your eye line when you're riding along the road, so you just glance down and you can see all of your information there, and that's actually worked really well. I think that works, works very nicely. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it and found it useful. I've got many more test rides planned and tours, adventures, all sorts planned on the channel. So uh, yeah, lots more to come. But having ridden this, very pleased. I really want to book a test ride in to try out the Lowrider ST, uh, which looks like a quality bike. And if it's this platform, but it's got the fairing at the front and the hard panniers, luggage on the rear, I think that'll be a really interesting concept. So yeah, I really want to try and get my hands on one of those soon. Get that on the channel. But again, thanks for watching. Stay happy. Peace out. Ciao, Bella. Take it easy.